Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time, we continued our way through World 2. Yeah, we did that. We did some flying around in Wild Glide, and, uh... I believe we also took care of the Fluffy Bluff Star. Yeah, we made some good progress. This time, well... We're gonna be checking out this Hungry Luma here in, uh, here in World 2. Cause that's what I said we'd do, and we're gonna do it. Alrighty. He wants 700, which we have over a thousand star bits, so we definitely have more than enough. Transform! Alrighty. Well, let's head into this new galaxy, Honey Bloom. Bumble Beginnings. You know, I thought about it. I was gonna make an overused joke, but like I said, it's been overused. <laughs> Actually, it's technically been over bees. That was horrible. I'll see myself out. I don't want to get stung by the viewers. I'm horrible, I know. <laughs> I, I can't help myself. You know, Chugga made the joke of the B-movie for when he first visited Honey Bloom, so I felt I had to, you know, be up my commentary a little bit. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> oh, Lord. I wonder how many people are going to watch this episode and just smack themselves in the face. Like, I can guarantee almost every single person in, who's watching the episode right now is smacking their he palm against their face because they could not stand my busy bee puns. But yeah, anyway, we transformed into Bee Mario, which allows us to, you know, fly around like a bee and kind of dress like one. This obviously is a returning power-up from Galaxy 1. It was already in Galaxy 1. It was actually introduced very early on. So it's kind of weird to see it, you know, introduced later on in this game. And if you get hit by any enemies, you'll lose your bee power-up. Also, if you get land in any water, you also lose your bee power-up. Because, you know, bees can't fly. Well, they can fly. They just can't fly in water. Or when their wings are wet. So it, you know, makes logical sense with the species... Grab this coin, get us a checkpoint. Uh, ooh, fuzzies. And. I mean, that's better than nothing, to, to be honest. Oh, I never noticed there was a thing of Starbits down here. With two conveniently placed black holes. That would, uh. It's not a good sign. I don't like it. Oh. Come on, Fuzzy. Buzz off. I think I really need to s stop with my bee puns. Even they are starting to bug me. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank Christ Joey's not here. Pretty sure he'd be telling me to shut to shut up at this point. <laughs> Sorry, you know. He'd be he'd be telling me to shut up because I'd be bugging him. Uh, 
I think once we get out of this, uh, once we get out of Honey Bloom, uh, I'll be able to stop because I won't be buzzing around. Oh lord. Is this just my shtick now? Like, this is just my shtick for every time I play this, uh, level. Oh boy. Well, we still have one more star in there, so let's just go back in there and get it. And yes, I'm going to try to restrain myself for the short amount of time we're doing the secret star from using any B puns. Even though it'll probably be hard. But I just, I, I can't, I can't, man. Like, this level just brings out the the beeness in me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that that was simple, easy wall jumps. Star. Looks like we have a bee on board. Keep it away from me, I'm allergic. If I get stung, I'll swell right up. I do like watching him though, thinking he knows or think he knows any good bee tricks. Probably not. Anyway. I think it's time to head one to one of the bigger galaxies. What's going on over here? What's the letter you got here, buddy? You have a letter for me. Oh, hey, we get a free one up because we came to Honey Bloom. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and head into Cosmic Cove Galaxy. We have Twin Falls Hideaway. Now, while normally I would do the first star in the intended order, I highly recommend that you take care of the secret star in this level first. And there's a reason why you will see, um, you will see in, you know, the regular mission. I can't really show it off in this mission because I usually have the amount of coins you need for the... Hungry Luma, because yes, we have another Hungry Luma level. And I usually have enough for getting it. Oh shoot, I missed the coin. Oops. But yeah. So we need 15 coins. You can get the common medal while down here, you can get in the regular mission, it doesn't really matter. Uh. Need number 14. Where is number 14? Yeah, because there's the Hungry Luma. I need number 14. Where's coin number 14? You ass. I didn't mean to swing at it. I meant to try to stomp it, but whatever. Go ahead and just come over to this platform and get the coin here. So I guess I could have shown off the reason why you want to get usually want to take care of the secret star first. But, you know, I'm stupid. Anyway, let's just go over here and here, feed this hungry luma.
Man, that explosion in, of turning into a planet must have caused him to become a black hole or something, because there's a black hole on this planet. Alright, go ahead and get the checkpoint. If we hit this switch, this turns to ice. What is our objective here? Think you can catch me? I'd like to see you try, ba boing Yep. We have to catch this bunny. It's really easy, because literally all you do is spin multiple times on the ice, get faster, and then they'll give up the star. Okay, now I'm going to meet you guys back in the big area in Cosmic Cove because, you know, we're going to be able to do things differently there. Okay, so, now that we're back in this area, instead of taking this, you know, Hungry Luma slate, our launch star, we come up to the top of this tower. Hitting the switch will freeze the entire uh, water. It beats frozen solid. Use the control stick and shake to start ice skating. This is why I said to take care of the secret star first. Is because you basically ha freeze over the entire water. It screws you out of the comet metal. And if you miss a certain amount of coins, you get screwed out of those as well. But let's just wall jump up these waterfalls. And the star is right here for us. Alrighty, it's time for our second mission, exploring the Cosmic Cavern. The longer of the two missions. Well, technically three, but like two in the way of there's two regular missions. Yes. You know, I'm actually curious about something now. So I just thought I saw the black holes that belong to the second half of this area. Now I'm kind of curious. Ah, oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, all the way out there. Pretty sure all the way out there is where the uh, second half of this mission takes place. That's actually really interesting. Anyway, just zoom on past these guys, and this time, instead of going through the water, since you can't really do that since the ice froze it over, we have to go through this pipe, which gets us into a... Uh, under ground 2D areas of sorts. Can't really, because it's a 2D area, we can't really, you know, check the check the camera, so we can't, like, see where we are in relation to where everything else is. But, looks like this penguin's showing us if we ground pound and dive, or I guess ground pound and press Z, Z or whatever, I guess ground pound into the water, we dive. Which will allow us to swim you know, even further underwater. Open that door, just be careful. But why? Obviously, yeah, there's eels down here. They want to bite on us. Eat us for breakfast. But they're easy to dodge, so no problems here. See, yep, one, two, I think there were like four that I saw. So there's one, two, three, yeah, and I think the fourth one's up here. Actually, there might have been five, actually, now that I think about it. 
Just some of them might not have been viewable. There's four. Oh no. No! Okay. Um. Yeah, I need a different approach. Okay, that takes care of uh, that. Oh yeah, there's the, there's number five. So yeah, there were. So I am right, this is, just, you know, the black holes that we saw. Get a bunch of star bits. Yeah, cause if we go back out here and look up. Yeah, well, there's only three I can see, but I think that's cause those are the big black holes. The other ones are tiny. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Looks about right. All right, let's talk to this Luma. Ooh, thanks. It was more human in there than you think. Well, I mean, with no way for cold to get in, I can see that. Okay, so this point in particular, has two ways you can beat it. You can do the intended way, or you can do a nice shortcut. I'm going to show both, because they're, it's easy to pull off, for one. So, what you want to do... Is there a spin drill around here? Like, just sitting around, or...? Yeah, okay. So what you want to do, I recommend just letting one of these enemies, these Mecha Koopas, eat, or burn you, because it'll make it easier. You can do a triple jump like this. Well, if you're not a fit, complete failure like I am. Uh, you can do a triple jump up to the star. And all you have to do, right here. See, you gotta do some, you know, spinning and everything. But you can shake the nunchuck with the... Sh the nunchuck does give you a higher spin if you perform it. It's just hard to do because I always find my input for the spin with the nunchuck never, you know, fully going. So, one, two, three. Yeah, it never wants to go at the right time. I don't know why. It's so dumb. So let's go one, two, three. There we go. Oh, come on. I almost had it that time. I usually can get it, like, first or second try and in, uh, 242, the 242 speed run. Oh, come on, that was completely off. Alright, one, two, three... Another completely off. Alright. One, two, three... Come on! Well, there's the keys, so we can just go ahead and grab that. That'll open up the intended way we're supposed to beat this. But I'm determined to show the, off this trick. Okay. There we go. Yes. So, this is the intended way. Or, not the intended way. This is a easy way to do it. It's not as hard as I made it look. I just was not getting the timing right for my triple jumps. But the intended way is you drill into this, um, drill in this spot. It'll make water leak out. And you just use the water to swim up here and get the star. Hmm, a sassy penguin on board a spaceship. That's a new one on me. Well, he seems to want a word with you. I wouldn't keep that one waiting. 
But what if I don't want to talk to him? You don't have to talk to any of these things, any of these guys that you get on the ship. So I'm not going to. But with that, that takes care of basically every galaxy up to you know this point. So next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2. We have a showdown with Bowser and Bowser's Lava Lair. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like. Cheer out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.